vacation homes on Grand Island causing a little bit of a stir. The town is going to meet with the community tonight to try and tighten up an existing policy. And as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Liz Lewin tells us now, some people are hoping that new regulations will create a big boost for local business there. They look like everyday homes, but for the past four years, this home on Grand Island has been rented out as a tourist vacation home, but not everyone is in favor of it. Tonight, town officials and members of the community will be voting on these new regulations set to tighten up on rules like licensing and registration, occupancy, noise, maintenance, and even pets. Vacation homeowner Ann Fanning plans to attend tonight's hearing and says these homes aren't hurting the community. In fact, they're exactly Exactly what the local economy needs. Oh, it's somewhat competitive and we want to attract people. So our homes tend to be some of the nicest homes on the block. It also brings in a lot of business for our small businesses. Grand Island's an interesting community. People get up in the morning and they leave the island and they go to work. They don't necessarily shop here day in and day out. When we bring visitors into Grand Island, we encourage them to stay in the island. Fanning and her husband purchased the property and refurbished it from the inside out. With the help of sites like Airbnb, B, they've been able to rent out the five bedroom, four bathroom home to people around the world at a competitive price. The people that spend their money and they come here, this is not riffraff. These are wonderful, loving families that come. They don't cause problems. I have a wonderful neighbor. He built his home knowing this was a vacation rental. And, uh, and he, he's had actually more rapport with, with my tenants than I have. Despite the proposed new regulations outlined tonight, Fanning says there are still people who just don't get it. I think a lot of people imagine the worst when, in fact, the people that come and stay here are just like you and me. Now, a final decision will likely take a few weeks after tonight's voting. I did reach out to the town supervisor in Grand Island and have yet to hear back from him. In the newsroom, Liz Lewin, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Liz.